tell you. I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. I, I would say billion, billion times in every day, I'm going to open my eyes, my mouth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I, I, I can do nothing. I couldn't do nothing without the Holy Spirit. That is working in me. And also is working in you and dwells in you. That going to show. Listen, my brother and sister. Show Jesus Christ to other people by, by this Holy Spirit. You are believed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The, I've been thinking the, the 12 disciples before they received the Holy Spirit on the Pentecost. You know what I'm talking about. The day of Pentecost, that Holy Spirit upon the 100 people who played at Apollo, including 12 disciples, they were all changed. Uh, but now I'm going to tell the disciples, before they received the Holy Ghost, hmm? they were coward, they afraid, they, they truly did not change. Even they followed Jesus Christ three and a half years as a full, uh, disciples. But, but they, they really, really believed Jesus Christ, Lord God. The Son of God. Even they confessed. You know the Peter confessed. That you are the Son of the living God. But, but one thing you have to remember. That I'm going to tell you now. Uh, uh, the Master. Story. Jesus said to disciples, all twelve disciples, "You will all fall down." Jesus Christ quoted the scripture, Zechariah thirteen, chapter seven. I shall strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. Peter, Peter, after he had heard what Jesus Christ said, even if all fall away, I will not. I will not fall away. Huh? P she just said, uh, goes on speaking to them. Today, 
Yes, tonight. Spoke to, to directly the Peter. <laughs> Just uh, before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. Okay. Peter said, Peter immediately responded, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. That's what he said. And all other disciples said the same thing as Jesus spoke. Huh? Peter was so emphatic. Let me tell you something. It is easy to say we are devoted to Christ. But our claims, you used to say, I have a lot of experience. I, I, I will. <laughs> You used to say so. Our claims are meaningful only when they are tasted in the crucible of persecution. Huh? Yes. We can say, anyone can say, ah, I follow Jesus Christ. Uh, no problem. I don't have a problem with Jesus Christ. Uh, I believe Jesus Christ. I love Jesus Christ. I will keep commandment. I, uh, I, I do what I do. What Jesus Christ said. When, when everything is getting good, there was no problem. How strong is your faith? I, I have a question. Is, it, is the question is talking to me? Is he strong enough to stand up under intense trial? Think about it. We need the Holy Spirit. That's why I'm preaching now. That's why I stood at this pulpit today. Not boastful ourselves and the human dissolve, you want to say. Listen, listen, my friend. We must never discount. Discount what? Our vulnerability, vulnerability, not vulnerability, vulnerability, you know what I'm talking about. Pride we have, greed, boast, even indifference. I follow me. How, how did the Twelve apostles change from men who ran away for their lives when their master was arrested. How, how did the twelve decide to become the godly person? Hmm? How, how Peter get uh, to the point where they could proclaim they were willing, you know, they could proclaim they were willing 
to obey God rather than men. That's what they said. Hmm? Even it meant imprisonment and possibly death. Listen, listen, listen. I want to tell you the answer about this question. The biblical feast of the Pentecost give us this answer. Just before Jesus ascended into heaven, he told them you shall receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on to you. Hmm? Acts 1 chapter 8. These 12 men had no idea of the magnitude of the transformative power of the Holy Spirit that they were about to receive. Power, this power, holy power. My friend, just people had preached, Pastor Chen, oh, I had received the big grace. That, that is not coincidence. It is my testimony. Just before he preached, same theme of the, this sermon. Well, okay. Holy Spirit came. Just as Jesus Christ had promised. <laughs> His disciples received the mighty power. We need this power. You and me. This time, we need the holy power. This power that we can preach. We can love it. We can do the work of God. We can do everything what God ordered to do for the kingdom of the God. We can't do without the Holy Spirit. Huh? Huh? Are you listening, my brother and sister? Oh, can I have an amen? Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I, I feel, I feel Holy Spirit. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit touch me when I preach now. I, 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 I'm, I'm serious. I'll be honest. To speak to you right now. Yeah. Huh? I'm not kidding you. I, I'm, I am drunk now by the Holy Ghost. I want to receive. I know you want to receive the Holy Spirit. That's why you, you are hearing now. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. All right. So, what I said. The this, this 12 disciples went to from self listen, self-presented individual to man of godly love, deep faith, and the conviction is something far greater than themselves. Huh? They changed totally. How do they change it? Because the Holy Spirit touched them on the day of the Pentecost. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? The cause of the, this transformation was the power of God. What the Bible calls this. It is the Holy Spirit. I'm still talking the Holy Spirit. This miracle. The fact that the, both the Father and the Son make their dwelling in the Christian. Holy Spirit dwells in you. You gotta believe. This miracle is made possible. Because, because, listen, that is a very significant uh, topic. 
Not many Christians don't know. This miracle is possible because of Father sent the Holy Spirit, as I told you. You know, Je okay, let me tell you. Jesus also had a key role, key role in sending the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if I go away to my Father in heaven, it is good for you. It's a good benefit for you. Huh? Holy Spirit will come to you if I go away. Gospel John 16, 7. Both the Father and the Son were to send Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Hmm? And the Father and the Son would dwell in your heart and the mind of all Christians by this invisible power called the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So I'm speaking Trinity. Father, Father promised. Huh? Gospel John 14, 16. Jesus said, what he said? I'll ask my father. He will send the Holy Spirit in my name, live forever with you. So now, Father in heaven, Jesus Christ, Son, now, as Father Holy had promised, today is the, the title of the sermon, the promise of the Father. All right. So, to leave you. One, three, three, one. Trinity, theoretically word. All right. I, 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 I'm going to move. It's a little bit another the, the topic. How, how, I got to hold you. I don't know. I don't know much time. How do we get Holy Spirit we want to receive? <coughs> Only one condition. Keep, meditate. What Peter said, Act 2, chapter 38. Mm. Everybody know, but I, I, I want to remind again today. Huh? Repent, repent. Firstly, you gotta do, repent. I don't explain no more. I don't have time to explain. I used to explain a preacher many, many times that this repentance. All right. And be baptized in the name of the Father, Jesus Christ. Then you shall receive the gift of God. Gift of God. Holy Spirit, hallelujah, amen. Can I get the amen? Huh? Oh, the specified requirement of baptism is a sacred ceremony. Huh? Am I right? But there is also another ceremony. I'm still talking about how to receive the Holy Spirit. We eagerly desire to receive this Holy Spirit that's now. Oh my, my, hallelujah. Huh? 
Oh, ah, you don't want to listen to what I'm saying. I know. You don't, I want to listen to this. What is your, another the, 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 the ceremony we have to do? That must take place for us to receive the Holy Spirit. It is laying on our hands by, by through, through midst of God, like pastor, your pastor. Your pastor, your church. This is Acts 8, chapter 17. Listen, I, I just want to tell the story of uh, this lay hand on the topic. Samaria church, and the went to the Samaria and preached the gospel and the beat of the sign and the wound of the head. Happened all over the world, and demon would drive out, and, and many, many sick people were healed by the power of the God. But the Jerusalem Church had heard, the Tamari Church had received the word of God. So the Jerusalem dispatched the, and the, the Peter and the John. John, Peter and the John had received. <coughs> Let me tell you what. what I, I, I got that picture. Even, even so, so Simon followed Philip to receive the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm talking about. That this guy, this guy that used to follow, the, and and buy the horse to, with the money. Okay, so Peter and John had this lay hands, lay hands, the people. Bible say, Bible say. Holy Spirit came unto them. You gotta believe. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh, let me finish it. Oh, the, uh, my time going almost, almost uh, approaching. Okay. You, you, I'm talking to somebody. You will write down. Act chapter 29, not chapter 28. As you know, Book of Act ended chapter 28. Continually, you and me will be writing the work of the God by the Holy Spirit, not from power. Holy Spirit that pour out to you all the church as Joel said in the last I on the old flesh you shall prophesy dream dream oh. this prophecy has been fulfilled right now if we pray together Holy if they come upon to you, hallelujah. Yes, I, you and me, going to write down continually Acts chapter. God wants you to do. God gave assignment. God gave mission. Hallelujah. As the apostle had been doing in the photo the work of God by the Holy Spirit after they had received the Holy Spirit on the Pentecost. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I still am also drunk. I, 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 don't turn, don't, don't turn around. Stay tuned. This focus, this broadcasting, uh, I believe you are doing right always. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, my brother and sister. See you same time next week. I will see you with the Holy Spirit you love. Thank you. Bye-bye.